couple years ago in Oklahoma, we had a vision of creating a training facility that would allow our soldiers to learn how to fight, clear and win in uh, trenches. And that's what we're here today to do. I'm very proud, I couldn't be more proud. We're doing this with state funds. The Oklahoma legislature and the governor have supported this effort and our own soldiers are building it. I think this is gonna be a great training event going forward for our soldiers and will save lives in future conflicts. The use of trenches in Eastern Europe between Ukraine and Russia has illustrated the need for dismounted maneuver forces to be able to have understanding of how to fight and how to survive in a linear battlefield under large-scale combat operations. The establishment of this trench training site is of double applicability to our forces. Number one, our Brigade Engineer Battalion had a significant hand in the construction and development of this trench, so that's excellent training for them. But secondly, our dismounted maneuver forces will be able to utilize this trench in order to develop and improve their tactics, techniques, and procedures for counter UAS um, warfare, as well as regular defense operations. So this is gonna be a three-phase project that is gonna begin with um, building the first trench um, located here behind me, the second trench uh, located just south of this site, and then the third phase will be all the accompanying facilities to include sand table and AAR sites. Uh, that's going to be really broken down into three annual training periods over three years. So the first one will be this, this year, conducted um, w this summer, with the goal of being complete no later than November. Phase two, with the second trench, will be completed next summer during our annual training period. And the third phase will be in the third year. As soon as we finish phase one, the first trench, units are going to be able to come out here and train on, in this facility. I think that having this training range established and having the complexity of a trench system that's modern off the Eastern European theater of war as we see it today, modeled off a lot of the threat environments we've seen around the world, this is really going to give soldiers a challenge that they're going to have to rise to to be successful on the battlefield and to be successful in their training. To be able to replicate an environment like this at a home station training site for a National Guard unit is really an enabler that not a lot of folks are having the, the luxury to take advantage of these days, and we're excited to be able to do that. 